After a year of intensive care and rehabilitation, a car crash victim had only one wish for Christmas, and that was to thank the police officers who saved his life. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports from Long Island. One year after a devastating brain injury in a car crash, 20-year-old James Ness can walk and talk again and credits police with his remarkable recovery. He ran over and he pulled me out of the car and started to give me CPR. It was horrifying. They said that he would have less than 5% chance to live. After a journey back from critical condition, his Christmas wish... To meet the police officer who saved my life that day. And I want to just give him, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. As Southside Hospital doctors detailed his progress, that wish came true with this poignant surprise. Thank you. Not one officer, but two. Please keep doing what you're doing. You make such a difference. This is why we do it. Stunned and choked up, Ness found the simple words he's wanted to say. Can't thank them enough. I am beyond speechless. You can't thank somebody enough for saving your kid's life. Ness was on the way to work here at the Bayshore Mall when a car rear-ended his, slamming him into a telephone pole. Police found him barely breathing, his head injuries so severe, doctors say minutes mattered. He had to relearn almost everything. How to work, walk on his own again and dress himself to higher level skills of remembering things day to day. Police officers say they rarely get to see a happy ending. We were honored that this is what you wanted. And Without you, I wouldn't be even able, I wouldn't even be here to celebrate this Christmas. It's not a job we get many thanks, but something like this is great. Now Ness's younger brother wants to be a first responder. You affect dozens of people just by saving one person's life. What time's dinner so I know to come over? <laughs> the Ness family welcomed the officers for Christmas dinner or any day of the year. In Bayshore, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And James Ness says he wants to return to college and become a physics teacher. Mm -hmm. He was in his first semester when he was critically injured. I'm sure it's going to be a great Christmas for all of them. Absolutely.